at noontime, singing at bedtime too. Singing in the morning, singing at noontime, singing all day through. Hello, I'm Mrs. Heydrich from Bonanza High School, and I'd like to sing three songs with you. Maybe you'd like to sing one in the morning, one at lunchtime, and one before bed, or maybe you'd like to sing them all three together. The first one has a few hand motions and a lot of repetition, so I think you're going to catch on quickly. As soon as you do, sing along with me. It's a very good day for playing in the sun, playing in the sun, for playing in the sun. It's a very good day for playing in the sun. Cause it's a sunny day. I can feel all the sun coming down on me, down on the flowers and down on the trees. I know the sun is gonna make me grow. Just you wait and see. It's a very good day for playing in the rain, playing in the rain, for playing in the rain. It's a very good day for playing in the rain. Cause it's a rainy day. I can feel all the rain coming down on me, down on the flowers and down on the trees. I know the rain is gonna make me grow. Just do wait and see. And it gets a little silly from here. It's a very good day for playing in the mud, playing in the mud, for playing in the mud. It's a very good day for Cause it's a muddy day. I can feel all the mud coming down on me, down on the flowers and down on the trees. I know the mud is gonna make me grow. Just you wait and see. Good job singing, guys. Let's clean all that chocolate and mud off and move on to our second song. It also has some motions, but this time the motions are a little different because we're going to be a bumping up and down in my little red wagon, bumping up and down in my little red wagon, bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. Don Gatto's going to fix it with his hammer. Don Gatto's going to fix it with his hammer. Don Gatto's going to fix it with his hammer. Won't you be my darling? A bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. Sophia's gonna fix it with her screwdriver. Sophia's gonna fix it with her screwdriver. Sophia's gonna fix it with her screwdriver. Won't you be my darling? A bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. Harper's gonna fix it with her pliers. Harper's gonna fix it with her pliers. Harper's gonna fix it with her pliers. Won't you be my darling? Everybody did a good job trying to fix it, but it looks like it's still broken. Let's sing it one more time with the tool of your choice, and you can sing your own name at home. Let me give you 10 seconds to think of a tool. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, I'll sing with you until we get to the end part, and then you're going to sing your own name and the tool of your choice. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. <laughs>
You were all very creative on the tools you selected. For our third song, we're going to sing about sandwiches. The first time through, I'll sing the song to you, and then you can sing with me. Sandwiches are beautiful, sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches, I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper and I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. Join me this time. Sandwiches are beautiful, sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches, I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper and I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. This time we're going to use another three-syllable food word. If you like the food I pick, at the end of the song, sing yum. If you don't like the food so much, at the end, shout out not. I'll show you what I mean. Brussels sprouts are beautiful. Brussels sprouts are fine. I like Brussels sprouts. I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper and I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a hundred Brussels sprouts, I'd eat them all at once. Not. Not a super fan of Brussels sprouts, so I sang not. Here comes another one. Cucumbers are beautiful. Cucumbers are fine. I like cucumbers. I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper and I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a hundred cucumbers, I'd eat them all at once. Yum! Let's try this one. Chocolate cake is beautiful. Chocolate cake is fine. I like chocolate cake. I eat it all the time. I eat some for my supper and I eat some for my lunch. And if I had a hundred chocolate cakes, I'd eat them all at once. Yum! Let's try... Um... Scrambled eggs are beautiful. Scrambled eggs are fine. I like scrambled eggs. I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper and I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a hundred scrambled eggs, I'd eat them all at once. Yum! This time, you're going to pick your own food word that has three syllables. So it's going to have three beats, like candy bars or scrambled eggs. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think of your word. It's a three syllable food word. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and here we go. Mm -hmm -hmm is beautiful. Mm -hmm -hmm is fine. I like. Mm -hmm -hmm. I eat it all the time. I eat some for my supper and I eat some for my lunch. And if I had a hundred, mm -hmm -hmm, I'd eat them all at once. Let's end on a super good note. Ice cream cones are beautiful. Ice cream cones are fine. I like ice cream cones. I eat them all the time. I eat some for my supper and I eat some for my lunch. And if I had a hundred ice cream cones, I'd eat them all at once. We're done with our three songs for today, but singing about all that food has reminded me of a great poem too. So here's a bonus poem. It's called, Sarah, Cynthia, Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. And it's by Shel Silverstein. Sarah, Cynthia, Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. Oh, she'd scour the pots and scrape the pans, candy the yams and spice the hams. But though her daddy would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings, coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown bananas, rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor, it cracked the window and blocked the door with bacon rinds and chicken bones, drippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach pits, orange peel, gloppy glumps of cold oatmeal, pizza crusts and withered greens, soggy beans and tangerines, crusts of black fern buttered toast, gristly bits of beefy roasts. The garbage rolled on down the hall. It raised the roof. It broke the wall. Greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, globs of gooey bubble gum, cellophane from green bologna, rubbery blubbery macaroni, peanut butter caked and dry, curdled milk and crusts of pie, moldy melons, dried up mustard, eggshells mixed with lemon custard, cold french fries and rancid meat, yellow lumps of cream of wheat, 
At last, the garbage reached so high that finally it touched the sky. And all of the neighbors moved away and none of her friends would come to play. And finally, Sarah Cynthia Stout said, okay, I'll take the garbage out. But then of course it was too late. The garbage reached across the state from New York to the Golden Gate. And there in the garbage she did hate, poor Sarah met an awful fate that I cannot right now relate because the hour is much too late. But children, remember Sarah Stout and always take the garbage out. Thanks for joining me in singing today. I think I need to go now because I've been reminded it's time to take the garbage out. Singing in the morning, singing at noontime, singing at bedtime too. Singing in the morning, singing at noontime, singing all day through.